I am on a mission to make the mighty Fulham FC European champions. And season two, it's gotten off to a solid start. Just one loss in the Premier League and a team that is gelling in so many areas. But there is a lot of football still to be played this season. Let's crack on and get stuck in to season two. Hitting the road and traveling to England's version of the Bermuda Triangle. It is Turf Moor, a team where some of the world's best teams crumble and i'm hoping this ground doesn't swallow us and spit us back out nah oh my god the bermuda triangle i can feel its gravitational pull four minutes in we're already behind lyle foster is killing us man i don't know what it is maybe i'm just in my own head but this is this is harder than playing the top teams oh look at the space for, Mo for muniz brings it down Shoots it! Oh my god, I probably could have cut back and tried getting a better angle, but I want to do the spectacular. We need a spark you fellas. 20 minutes to go. We've got a good possession, but we need somebody to come on and change things. The Dharma Traore, please be that man. Come on, lads. Mudrik. I see the space here. We need a good ball to Meniz, which we get. Rodrigo Meniz! Oh, the defender is caught up. Do we have time for a counter-attack? I don't think so. Let Traore run! We can't. That is the worst possible start to the episode. The Bermuda Triangle has completely destroyed us here. But to be honest, I played a stinker of a game. I don't know if it's Turf Moore's fault. Probably my fault. Our second loss of the season, and it's to Burnley. And now we've got to follow that up. We're at home, but we have Liverpool. The league champions, Liverpool, coming to the cottage. God help us. Already they're on the attack. Martinelli lays that one there, and they hit the post. My God. Martinelli, long shot, save Leno. Oh my god, we're not marking Martinelli at all here. Salah, that's a goal for Liverpool. I swear last episode, I praised our defense, and since then, we haven't kept a clean sheet. Oh my god, how have they just gotten all that way through? Get that away! Do none of you fucking idiots want to jump? I press square, and everyone just stands there. Oh, the responsiveness in this game is the worst part about it. I genuinely think FC25 is a good game. But EA need to patch the responsiveness. It is so crap. Come on, we need something quick here. Robinson, I'm just going with him. Robinson scores! He's so reliable. What a start to the second half. Straight off the kickoff, we get ourselves a goal back. Oh, Liverpool's about to win this one. Don't make it any worse, man. Harvey Elliott, former Fulham guy, tackle there. Hoofing it, hoping the referee's going to be kind. But that's full time. And again, we are on a bit of a slump now. Two losses in a row. We need to sort this out. I knew we had a Carabao Cup game coming up, and I was hoping for a confidence booster. Nope. Our second game in the Cup, we get to face Arsenal. Fun, fun, fun. Still rotating, but I've got a Wobie in the starting 11 for this one. We're at the Cottage. Can we move on in the Cup? We do not. Oh my god, it looks like they wheeled out all of their top players. We lose 4-0 in the EFL Cup, so... I actually do want to have a bit of a crack in the FA Cup later in the season. Starting to lose my head right now a little bit, lads. I got that sinking feeling in the bottom of the stomach. I'm getting anxious. This is, we need to get this feeling gone right away. And to make my anxiety even worse, we travel to probably my least favorite place to play when it comes to FC. It is the London Stadium because of these goddamn bubbles. I normally simulate games because it just does my head in. Here we go. West Ham United. Pellegrini's come out of the gates firing. Pellegrini going there to Bowen and West Ham take the lead. Oh my God. I went from being one of the best defensive players in FC 25 to not being able to stop anything. Come on, Robinson's the only guy we've been able to score a goal with all episode long. He puts a peach of a ball in, but Muniz puts a pathetic effort. Corner for West Ham United. Pellegrini, Traore, get that away. Good, no. Get it. Can I not? Holy crap. Couldn't even change the bloody player. Smith Rowe, Traore, turning to start the second half, and we put it wide. Gonna go to Muniz. Rodrigo Muniz, and he puts it wide as well. Oh no, our former guy, Sander Berg, put a great ball there. Great smothering save though from Leno. Look, I'm making a double substitution here. We need a big change. I'm changing the whole left-hand side. Robinson and Mudrik coming off. We've got Iran Kunda and Ryan Sessignon coming on. Oh, how are you not winning that Stanisic? My God, what a block Anderson. But how did Stanisic not win that header? Pellegrini, long shot, 2-0. 
Oh, we just can't score a root in a brothel at this moment. We are... We are officially in a massive slump. That's why we need to make... Like, that's why I was so crucial in just continuing to get wins when we were, because when you're a team like Fulham, you just never know when it's going to stop. Wins are not guaranteed, and I think we've proven that this past month. Go on, Iran Kunda. I wanted to go for the long shot, but it doesn't matter. 2-0 loss. Yeah, this is not good. We need to figure things out quickly. And well, for the second straight year, Erling Haaland wins the Ballon d'Or in this Fulham career mode. 4.7 million likes is insane, but Haaland wins the Ballon d'Or. And I cannot begin to describe how important this game is because we have Nottingham Forest right now. We've slid the 13th, they're 15th, and our next two games after this in the Premier League are against Manchester United and Manchester City. If we don't win here, we could very realistically go the entire month of November without a win. Meniz. Mudrik holding it up to Robinson. This has been our way. Get it to Meniz. I need to take a touch there, man. Just don't have the power. Gregorich. Gregorich. Oh, my God. I just can't defend right now. Oh, my God. hudson Adoy almost scored that. If I can see to that, I would have been fuming. Got ourselves a corner here. Ravella, the man to swing it in. Gets it to Meniz. Meniz goes for the bicycle. It's straight at the keeper. Follow up he can't get to. Still on though. Ravella, the man who took the corner is the man that scores it. We have finally scored a goal that gives us the lead. This is the first time in this episode that we've held a league. Ravella just prances through everybody. Slots at home. We needed that so badly. Free kick here for Forrest. We need to stay resolute in the back line. Gregorich goes for the hero shot. You're welcome to try that all day, mate. Gets that ball in. Need to flick it back. Nicely flick back. Go. No, I didn't want to go there, but we missed it anyways. Oh, I wasn't ready for Robinson to have that one there. I wanted to go back to Ravella. But how have we missed that regardless? Counter-attack. Mudrik the smith row. I could have gone early there. We're going to dive over the challenge, though. Smith Rowe's going to go himself. Long shot straight at the keeper. Going through here. Ball in. Get that. Oh, my God. It was audacious. That would have been a way to stamp this win, though. Smith Rowe, I don't want to force anything. We're going to go out there to Robinson. Get a good ball in. That's not a good ball. No, I've just left the door open, haven't I? Robinson, you need to get back. No, we've mistimed that. Get it away. Win that header. Yes, Branthwaite. Well won, mate. Just sprint forward, Smithrow. They're sitting back. We're going to get the win. Can we put an exclamation mark on it? Rodrigo Meniz. I guess he was offside, but I don't care. We have finally got ourselves back in the winner's column. Grinding out a win against Forrest. We have got yet another transfer offer in for Alex Bordeaux from an MLS side. I'm just going to keep accepting offers for him like I have. Same with Dibley Diaz. But these young kids, I just think they're on too high wages. We are here in November, though. We've got about a month, just over a month, until the January window opens. And I want to know what you guys think in terms of players we should be looking to bring in for January. I've got a few ideas of players that I honestly might move on and get financing for. But I would love your guys' opinion as well. And now we get the great joy of facing the Ballon d'Or winner, Erling Haaland. We're away at the Etihad. Here we go. Let's see if we can make a massive change for the year. Oh, Jeremy Doku's just done Stanisic there. My God, Haaland is just a different level. Corner for City. They put that one in. We can't get the header away. Leno's thankfully in the right position. Oh, God. No. Not off the kickoff. Not off the kickoff like that. Oh, we have stayed in the shed. So we've been doing a great job of controlling City and frustrating them. We just can't get to our shape. And City runs straight through the middle of us. God. We've truly lost it now, lads. Keep focused. Kevin De Bruyne is terrorizing us. Oh, Robinson. We just can't get the bounce back there. <sighs> oh, my God. This is so hard. City is so frustrating. Man. We actually had good possession in that game. I need to go back to the drawing board of my tactics because I was not making any opportunities there any just give us something here lads give us something to end november with a positive it has been the worst month i would argue since i've taken control of fulham in this entire series if you're still watching this video and sticking with us through it then you are a real one leave a comment saying you're still here so i know who the true ones are united at the cottage let's be strong just show some hope some signs of encouragement improvement my god where the fuck is our defense? Oh my god! Oh. 
Joshua Xerxes has just absolutely mugged us off there. Oh, that is not what I said. I, that's not what I meant when I said I wanted some signs. Oh my god. Nah. Oh, what a save, Leno. Robinson. Good ball in. Mudrick! Mudrick equalizes! Come on! Yes! You don't know how bad we needed that one, fellas. Oh, we get an equalizer here against United. Little cheeky dink in there. And Mudrick gets in front of Lindelof. Hits that one beautifully on the side past Andre Onana. Jesus! Oh my god, that one just kept floating. Good stuff there. Mudrick to Robinson. I'm going to go early here. Rodrigo Meniz. Rodrigo Meniz starts the second half off with a goal. Come on, lads. We take the lead. Three minutes into the second half. I genuinely do believe it is easier to score off kickoffs. I believe that there's something with the defense where they're just not set for both teams. And we take full advantage of it. Lindelof and Harry Maguire in no man's land. Rodrigo Meniz is going to give us the lead here. Come on. We're humming now, lads. I feel the weight lifted out of my gut, but I want a third. Awobi. Oh, we can't get the follow-up. United are rattled, though. Through to Rodrigo Meniz. Oh, Onana makes that save. Again, I press circle so much earlier, and it just holds him up and waits a second. It's The delay kills me, man. We're cooking with gas in this second half, lads, but we need a third goal. We need a two-goal buffer. Putting it out wide. To Rodrigo Meniz. Rodrigo saved Onana. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. We end November with all three points. It is a massive three points against Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. Oh, that is such a relief. Pedri, all these big name players, and we are able to get past them. Oh, my God. Please hope December can be a turning point again. Coming into December, we currently sit ninth in the Premier League which is incredible. I thought we would, we would have dropped so much further down, but we're starting to get a bit of a gap between us and like fifth, sixth, even fourth. I don't expect us to qualify for Champions League, but I want Europa League or Conference League. That is the bare minimum this year. So we need a good run in December. But fellas, that is where I'm going to conclude today's episode of the Fulham Career Mode. Excited to start building the pieces ahead of the January transfer window next episode. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Click here to subscribe and click here to check out the full series playlist.